basically the gooseneck or overbent 90 is mostly used in residential but still there's used in commercial but mainly in residential when you're running your conduit on top of the the beams or the trusses and you have a box that you have to mount right underneath one of the beams and it's pretty close and you don't want to bend an offset and, and then a 90 you can do an over bent 90 and it'll go nicely into the top of the box okay what's up my guys how you doing so now this is the best I can come up with. I don't have something that I can actually show you in live, you know, uh, what I mean by uh, the best way to use the gooseneck or how to measure for it. But let's just say you have your conduit and you're running it on top of these beams here and you have to come down into a junction box that you have mounted on the, on the side or on the right underneath this beam. And you want to come into one of the knockouts right, right on top of it. Well, Let's just say these beams here are about four inches, you know, wide. I mean, it's very short. You can't do a 90, so you do a gooseneck. So basically, in order to get the measurement for this overbent 90 or gooseneck, what you need to do is just get the measurement from the top of where the pipe is actually resting. So really, it's the bottom of the pipe. You're getting your measuring to where you want to go into your junction box. So that's basically it. Just basically the top of the ceiling to the where you're coming into on the box. You just measure that little distance. And that's where you're going to mark when you lay it out. Uh, point A. Basically. So that's all you really have to do to get the measurement. Come and lay out your pipe. Now... What you'll do is, for the sake of the video, we're going to say that our measurement for our 90 is going to be 9 inches. We'll come and we'll measure the 9 inches, which will be here. And for the sake of the video, we're going to use marker, but you should know, use pencil always. And if you have time, always try to remember to erase your pencil marks. Just gives it a much more cleaner look and it only takes a second. After you've marked your nine inches here, which is point A, we'll go and we'll make our second mark, which is going to be three eighths of an inch. Now that Measurement is always going to stay the same. Three-eighths of an inch, always. That does not change. So we'll come here and we'll put our three-eighths. And we'll put that right there. And also, we'll come and we'll just make a mark around the whole pipe where you don't lose your position when you're turning around your pipe on the bender. Okay, after you have these two marks done, you can go ahead and start bending your pipe because we'll still have to put another mark on our pipe, but we have to get the 90 done before we can do that. We'll have to do our two bends, which I'm going to show you right now how to do now i finished bending my 90. um you should know how to bend the 90 if not you can go to my video and i'll be able to show you how to do a 90. but in this case after you bend the 90 at your point a which is the first mark that you see that's on the arrow that's right there point a now we're ready to bend our second mark, which is three eighths of an inch away from it. So we're ready to bend the second one. And what you want to do is 
you're not gonna line up the second bend, point B, to the arrow. You're gonna line up the second bend at the front of the hook, the very front of the hook. That's where you wanna line up this second mark, at the front of the hook. And you're gonna bend it all the way until the foot pedal bottoms out. So you basically want to overbend it. Okay? And I'll show you how to do that now. You'll come here. I'm going to come to make sure that I'm on my mark. And I am. So I'll just support myself and I'll make sure the pipe is locked down on my other foot. And I'll come. Put my, place my foot on the bender and just bottom out. Looks like it still needs a little more. And that's about it. You just want to make sure that this part here is all the way to the bottom. I see I have still a little more to go. So for a quick recap, I'll get right to the point. You get your measurement, like I said before. Let's just say for the sake of the video, we got nine inches. You mark it on your pipe, point A. From that point there, you're gonna go over another three eighths of an inch. That'll be your second bend. You start off with bend A, you make a 90 degree bend. No deduction, you don't need to deduct anything. You're just gonna straight up bend a 90 right where you have your point A. I need to make that clear. You're not gonna deduct anything at all. After you make that bend, you're gonna slide it down and use the front of the hook on point B. Your second bend, you're gonna use the front of the hook and you're gonna overbend it by just bottoming out the foot pedal, okay? After you do that and you overbend the 90, you're gonna 
get point C now. Now you need to find the third bend, which you're going to need to use a straight edge for this. You know, a door frame works perfect. You, like you just saw in the video before, you get your level, you put it on top of your, your 90 degree stub. Make sure it's level at the same time lining up point A with the straight edge. Once you have that all leveled out and straightened up, you mark point C where the edge crosses and meets the pipe. Once you marked it and you found that, you're going to go ahead and make a 22 and a half degree bend. And that's it. That's basically it. You just did a gooseneck. Okay? And this is now to show you the end result of a gooseneck or an overbent 90. I'm not sure what you call it in trade, but what I was taught is that it's called a gooseneck. And just to show you that it is level. And I'll go to show you now the measurement, which is nine inches from the bottom to the top, nine inches. Okay. Again, I'll be posting more content on different types of bends, intermediate bends, advanced bends. If there's anything in particular that you want me to do a video on, just please, you know, hit me up, you know, make a